Hi, it's Peter here. Olympus Workspace just got an upgrade and it's now called OM Workspace. Let's look what's new in it. This video is based on the version 2.0 of OM Workspace. Before we get into those three quite exciting new things or features in OM Workspace, let's talk about what that software is. Well, it is a free image editing software from OM Systems or OMDS. And you can get it by going to this website. I will put a link in the description down below so you can find it easily. All you need is a serial number from an Olympus camera. And then just press download and follow what the instructions are on the on your screen. There is a version for Windows and Mac. And here are the requirements that your computer needs to have in order the OM workspace to work. The first new feature is sequential shooting image group display. What it means is that OM Workspace can stack your images that are taken in sequential uh, mode in your in your camera into a one group, and then it's easier to choose the best ones. And I think this is a good thing for workflow. It makes choosing the images quite much faster because the newest Olympus cameras can shoot with pretty high frame rates or images per second, rather, not frame rates. For example, the new OM1 can shoot 120 frames per second, which is quite a lot of images if you use that a lot. And, you know, doing sports or bird photography, for example, you might end up with quite a few images. And this will help you to choose the best ones. And the second feature is part of this. When you have selected or make, made a stack or group of the sequential images, you can then press the focus analyzer. It will reorder the images so that the sharpest ones are in the first group or subgroup and then you have five different groups of different levels of focus. And this is quite good if you have a lot of images and you know there might be some that are sharper than others. The way it works you choose one image from that sequence, stack them and then this opens up and then you choose the reference image and tell the software which part needs to be sharp. And not usually if it's about birds, for example, it's the head. You make a box and you can resize it the way you want and then press focus analyzer and it will track the head of the bird and then stack those images in order of focus. The sharper ones are here and the not that sharp are here. And then you can, with this slider, you can make the groups or, or more groups and more precise and then when you're done, you can choose the sharpest ones by, you know, making a color label or give it some, some amount of stars. This is a really, really handy feature if you're using high sequential modes on the newest Olympus cameras, because it makes the image selection a lot faster. If there are some unsharp ones, you, you can, you don't even have to pixel peep, the software will do it for you. And this is the big thing about AI, it will make our image editing a lot faster in this way too. It doesn't mean that you have to do all kinds of AI image editing. This is just choosing and uh, organizing the images with the help of AI. And I think this is this is quite big and I hope they improve this and make this even better. But I think this is a great start and it will fast or make your uh, workflow a lot faster because of course workflow is important thing. The faster you can do the selection, the faster you can edit, the more time you will have to photograph. You don't have to sit at the computer. And then there is a third, which is really, really interesting. And that is AI noise reduction. And this is something totally new. I know that there are a lot of noise AI or noise reduction AI softwares available. And at the moment, Topaz Denoise AI and DxO Pure Raw are the two best ones that I've tested so far. I am making a video about more of these, there are like nine or ten different softwares and I will add OM Workspace to that too because it is a very interesting feature. The way it works is that first when you have the OM Workspace software downloaded you need to download the data for that noise reduction and it will add AI noise reduction to the software. Unfortunately at the moment the cameras that this will work with are OM1, EM1X, EM1 Mark III, EM1 Mark II and EM5 Mark III. So unfortunately not EM10 cameras, which I would prefer to have it there because this software is something that when someone is starting to do imaging or photographing more seriously, they need some kind of editing software. And this is a good software to start. So I would love if EM10 was supported, EM10 cameras was supported because when you get into 
photography more and shoot with EM1 cameras, you're more likely to be more serious and you need better image editing software because OEM Workspace is not uh, very good if you need to do local adjustments. It, it's okay with, with global adjustments and good software to start with. But we need to rethink if, if we need or want to add this to our workflow. But I will talk about the workflow a bit later. But let's get into the AI noise reduction that OM Workspace has now. And here is the AI noise reduction tool. You have several options. The first one is priority. You can choose resolution or a noise reduction priority. A noise reduction priority is more powerful. Let's see how these differ. And as you can see from this image that the noise reduction priority is a lot better. Let's turn these two to high and use the noise uh, reduction priority and then also turn let's turn the uh, dark areas no, uh, noise suppression on and here is the result looks pretty good let's compare this to DxO Pure Raw and what's astonishing the OM workspace is at least as good as DxO Pure Raw this is a bit of a surprise to me to be honest and this makes this software really interesting if it is really the case that this is as good as DxO's noise reduction this is huge and this is something that I need to look into a bit more. And this is really good news if you have a compatible camera because this will reduce noise really well. And as I said, I will look, in, look into this a bit more later. But let's talk about the workflow. And after that, I will have a one trick for you with, that will make this software a lot faster. But let's get into the workflow. It has a lot of good features for Olympus users because it's familiar because the tools that you have are the same is that you can tweak the image in, in camera. And that's a good thing because then it's more familiar. The few problems that I have found on OM Workspace is that it is a bit slow and you only have global adjustments. You don't have local adjustments, which I use quite a bit. But if you're not doing editing that much, this is a no-brainer for you. And, and of course, if you're using art filters and monochrome images, then this can show them because it knows the camera it has it reads the exif data from the camera and shows the image exactly the way you see it in in camera lightroom for example cannot do that because it doesn't have the same profiles at least i haven't found a way to do it maybe there is if if you know something please let me know in the comments down below but do i add this to my workflow i haven't decided yet because there are a few things that makes it a bit slower in in the whole work flow because it's it's harder to go back and forth between Lightroom and this software. But if you're shooting only, you know, every now and then and, and one image by one image, you know, street photographer, for, for example, not many images, this could be your software because of the great new features like the AI noise reduction, which is really, really good. And then the extra trick. Did you know that you can use your camera's processor power to edit your images in Olymp Olymp not Olympus, but OM Workspace. You connect a compatible camera, which are OM1, EM1X, EM1 Mark III, and EM1 Mark II to your computer and choose PC RAW. Press start now when this pops up. And then you have these options to choose from. And these are the same options that you can tweak the image in camera, like the picture profiles. And this is very handy way and very simple way of editing images. And what's good about this, it works a lot faster. I have a fairly fast computer, but still this is a lot faster. And the ex exporting time was half when I used the EM1 Mark III connected to my computer and used that uh, processing power instead of my computer. And it's not a big deal if you're, you know, only need to export one image, you know, it's not a big deal. But if you have a huge amount of images, then that might save you a lot of time. So if you have a compatible camera, test it, especially if you have a bit older computer that's not that fast, it will make the workflow a lot faster. And I think this is a quite great way of, of using your camera in, in editing too. And I, I like this feature in OM Workspace. But if you want more information about OM Workspace, please let me know in the comments down below. I can make some more tutorial videos on this. And I hope this was useful then. The next thing you, you need to do is to go to OM System website and download the newest version if you don't have it already. Tell me in the comments down below how, how have you found OM Workspace? Is that something that you could use or are you using it? 
But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.